First game on Saturday is Saints at Seahawks. This is the three year anniversary of the 67 yard beast quake. Greatest playoff touchdown run of all time by Marshawn Lynch. These teams also played each other in week 13. Week 13, Monday Night Massacre, where Drew Brees and Saints lost 34 to seven. Don't expect another blowout though, because uh, of reasons. Yeah. Yeah. The Saints should have a better opportunity to get the ball to Jimmy Graham, the Seahawks' best coverage linebacker, KJ Wright, out with a broken foot. He'll have better opportunities to score like he did in week 13. What's KJ stand for? Ken Jr. K Jewelers, right? <laughs> K Jewelers. <laughs> Seahawks passing offense has not been what it was of late. They could really use Percy Harvin back for the first and only time since uh, week 11, week 10. Well, what did he like tore his hip off or something? <laughs> he did, he had a broken hip. You don't use your hip to catch a ball. <laughs> <laughs> if the Saints can't get it done in the air, they're gonna turn to the ground like they did against the Eagles last week. Mark Ingram did the most of the damage. Shocking. Which, uh, as our friend Celebrity Hot Tub said, is like being stabbed to death with a grapefruit because he sucks. I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. You want to hide me? Mm hmm? Yeah. So did Eric Crouch. <laughs> SB Nation's NFL editors like the Seahawks across the board. I like the Seahawks to win, but they're favored by eight, and I think uh, the Saints are good to cover that. What about you? Yeah, take the points. That's a lot of points. Yeah. Not as, like, what, 27 points last time, but again, playoffs, things are going to tighten up, slow down a little bit. I like the Saints with those points, but Seahawks to win.